Does your pimple show up every time you use sunscreen? You have tried multiple sunscreens, but it happens with all of them. Do you get breakout whenever you use makeup? You have tried different brands, but acne shows up nonetheless. If that is you, you probably need to add double cleansing to your routine. But what is double cleansing? How do you do it? When or with what? Let's find out. Hello, this is Sarah Deba. I love science, skincare and science of skincare. And today I will be talking about everything you need to know about double cleansing. I'll also share the right method of double cleansing and some mistakes that you need to avoid. What is double cleansing? Double cleansing, as the name suggests, means cleaning your face double or two times. Now, if you are a skincare nerd, I'm sure you have a cleanser in your routine. Cleansing is the opening step of our skincare routine. It's very important that we cleanse our face at the end of the day and take off all that makeup, sunscreen, dirt, bacteria and residues that settle on the skin throughout the day. It is always advised that you use a mild cleanser for everyday cleansing because that way your skin will not be stripped of its natural sebum. But the problem with mild cleanser is when you wear makeup or water resistant sunscreen, it becomes hard to remove those just by washing your face once. I'm sure you'll find a lot of residues after washing your face once like I just did. If this happens day after day, these residues will eventually clog your pores, cause irritation, sensitivity and acne breakout. And this is where the concept of double cleansing becomes relevant. The whole point of double cleansing is to effectively remove the makeup, sunscreen and residue products from your face. How to do double cleansing? There are two ways to double cleanse your face. With the same cleanser, with different cleanser. Double cleansing with the same cleanser means basically washing your face twice with the same cleanser or thrice, basically as many times as it takes to get rid of all that makeup. The theory behind this method is that a cleanser is designed and formulated in a way to effectively remove products from our face. All cleansers contain surfactants. The oil-loving part of the surfactants attracts the oily residues, while the water-loving parts help wash it all off. The pros of these methods are it's budget friendly, you don't need to invest time and effort looking for a separate product. Risk of irritation is none as you are not using any new product. The cons of this method are not very convenient to use, might not be very gentle to the skin. From my experience, removing my makeup with my regular cleanser becomes quite messy. It takes me a lot of time and effort to effectively remove every speck of residues. It irritates my skin and I simply don't like the process. So I personally prefer the second method, which is Double cleansing with different cleansers. This is the traditional and most popular method of double cleansing. We use two different cleansers. The first cleanser is usually an oil-based cleanser. We call it first cleanser or oil cleanser. The second cleanser is always a water-based cleanser. We call it second cleanser or regular cleanser. Meaning for the second time of cleansing, you're using the cleanser or face wash that you're using every day. So the question that actually confuses a lot of people is, how do you choose the first cleanser? There are lots and lots of options in the market when it comes to the first cleansers. But to keep it simple, I'm going to categorize them in just two types. Micellar water, oil-based cleansers. Micellar water. Micellar waters are not actually oil-based cleansers. They are very liquid products, they contain surfactants called micelles, which are very good for removing oil-based products from the skin without being harsh to the skin. How to double cleanse with micellar water? It is recommended to use a micellar water with cotton pads. Take generous amount of micellar water onto the cotton pad. Make sure it soaks completely, then gently press onto the skin to remove dirt and makeup. It's debatable whether you need to wash off micellar water or not. Usually micellar water contains surfactants that are okay to leave on the skin. But I personally experience irritation if I didn't wash it off. So I always use my regular cleanser afterwards and complete the double cleansing process. Now, the pros and cons of micellar water. Pros, does not clog pores, good for acne prone skin. Cons, cotton pads can be expensive, friction from the cotton pads may cause irritation and sensitivity. My recommendations, Bioderma Sensei Bio H2O Micellar Water, Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water, CeraVe Micellar Cleansing Water. I actually stopped using uh, micellar water a few years ago because I found that cotton pads are irritating to my skin. What I use and enjoy the most right now are oil-based cleansers. There are mainly two oil-based cleansers available in the market. Cleansing oil, 
cleansing balm. The difference between the two is mainly texture. Both of them contain surfactant and oil which melts oil-based products easily. Also contains emulsifier which makes it very easy to wash it off without leaving your skin feel tacky or greasy. Cleansing oils are, as the name suggests, liquidy and oily. It's very easy to use. You take a few drops on your hands, put on your face, wait a few seconds, massage very gently and all the makeup and sunscreen comes off just like that. Take a little water and massage on this face to emulsify it. Emulsification makes it easier to wash off the oil, so you should wash it off with water first. Then use your regular cleanser. My recommendations, Hada Labo Gokujin Cleansing Oil, Ionic Calendula Complete Cleansing Oil. Cleansing balms are more elegant version of cleansing oils. Its texture is like a balm and a bit waxy. But once you take it and rub into your hands, it melts instantly. Then you put it on your face, wait a few seconds, gently massage, emulsify with water and wash off with regular cleanser. My recommendations? Clinic Zero Cleansing Balm, Beauty of Josan Radiance Cleansing Balm. Pros of oil-based cleansers? Easy to use, easy to wash off, very gentle on the skin, very effective in removing oil-based products. Cons? Might clog pores for some people. Oil-based cleansers are my most favorite way of double cleansing. But here are some mistakes that you must avoid while using them. Using them on dry face, after the makeup has melted down, then emulsify with water. Always follow up with your regular water-based cleanser. Never use vegetable oil as they don't contain surfactants or emulsifiers. So this was my simple breakdown of the double cleansing process. If you have any more questions, leave it below. See you next time. Till then, take care for yourself. And remember to love the skin you're in. This is Sara Diba signing off today from Diva's Quest.